how do you get a huge EIN only business loan from Regions Bank with bad or fair credit? Don't go anywhere. We're going to answer this question real fast. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of uh, the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you are to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's convo, I want to speak to you about how to get a massive EIN only business loan from Regions Bank with bad or fair credit. Step number one, you need to get your act together. I want to write it down. Get your act together right now. And by act together, I mean you need to have an EIN, your employer identification number. I want you to forget about your social security number. If you have a, a sad gig and you are a sole proprietorship, I want you to, to incorporate. I want you to get an EIN from uh, the IRS and then I want you to incorporate so that you can have articles of incorporation or articles of organization depending on the legal structure you choose. Remember, you can be an ALC, a limited liability company or an ALP limited liability partnership if that's what you want or you can be an s corp or c corp if you are a corporation you're going to need articles of incorporation if you are an lc or lp you're going to need articles of organization once you that you have that there's an important element that you need to also keep in your records is called the certification of beneficial owners a lot of banks such as uh, regions bank want to have an idea of what's going on in your business so it's kind of cool to have that kind of documents Pay attention, folks, to your licenses and permits. Very important. You also want to pay attention to your financial statements. Make sure that you have a proper accounting setup, either in-house or outsourced, so that you can, you can create periodically complete and accurate financial statements. And I don't mean only the three financial statements uh, for businesses, um, the three business financial statements that people always talk about. I want you to add the fourth one, which is the statement of stockholders equity or the statement of owners equity the the other three that everybody know knows about is what those are your balance sheets your statement of cash flows and your statement of uh, income aka your p l so it's very important to have that this will actually lay the foundation of a strong company of a strong and legit company that way you are divorcing you can divorce your personal affairs from your business affairs and also don't forget to have a business plan. This is a vital ingredient in making sure that your company is seen, is perceived as a legit business, and that will help you get the EIN only massive business loan that you need from Regions Bank, even if you have bad or fair credit. Step number two, I want you to get familiar with Regions. So when we talk about Regions Bank, we are talking about a financial behemoth. Okay, Regions Bank is a full service regional institution that covers a few features many other banks don't. And uh, for example, uh, they have an annual 1% savings account bonus and a checking account rewards program. And one thing I want to say here is that although regionally based, the bank is a national player with lending operations from coast to coast. So even if you are not based in the South and Midwest, you can still qualify for the bank's services as well as business loan credit card and credit line offers with EIN only. Okay. So the pros and cons quickly here, when we, when we speak about regions, with regions, you, they have a, an extensive presence in the South and Midwest. They have life green savings that uh, has no monthly fee. They have a rewards program that is available for checking and savings account at the personal level, but also at the business level. In terms of cons, they, they do have uh, low interest rates on basic savings and city accounts for businesses and individuals. The short-term CDs require high minimum, high minimum deposit, and the Life Green checking accounts has $11 monthly fee if deposit requirements are not met. The, whole, the, the gist of the conversation here is that you need to get familiar with regions at the personal level, but also at the business level. In other words, you need to know what kind of a business accounts they have and what kind of personal accounts they have. Big decision time. Let me ask you a question. What is your bank ex experience with the institution you currently have? Are you satisfied? Don't lie to me. Nobody's hearing you anyway. 
talk to me talk to me right now are you satisfied with the banking experience big decisions if you're not satisfied then regions might be a good uh, candidate especially if you're trying to get a huge ein only business loan from them with bad or fair credit this could be a good opportunity to uh, give them a, a try and regions has a constellation of business solutions they are involved in the community so they have a good community involvement service we love the fact that with this institution you have convenience flexibility personal service business service and insights this is really good and you don't get a lot of uh, regional large regional banks that offer this repertoire of complete services so if your goal once again is to get uh, approved for a massive ein only business loan from regions bank with bad or fair credit you need to give them a try and uh yeah start nurturing a relationship with them step number three folks i want you to check out regions business loans okay so you want a loan from regions okay cool but which loan because they have a constellation of loans so you got to go through their bevy of loans and of business loans that is and see which one you can qualify for and which one suits your particular business so we have a loans and lines of credit so remember though with a business loan you get the funds in a single lump sum and pay a fixed payments amount each month right with the line of credit funds may be borrowed repaid and borrowed again so you borrow as little as little or as much as you need up to your available credit limits and your payments amount adjust based on the balance owed and the maximum limit here for the loan or credit or line of credit with regions is one million dollars regions also offer sba loans so they are a preferred sba lender so they provide a variety of small business financing options that can help your small business expand so they are present in the loan sba 504 loan sba 7a and loan sba express okay and they also have equipment financing and leasing solutions so they do this through a, a company called ascentium or essentium capital which is a subsidiary of regions and uh, this company offers a uh, streamlined financing for equipment technology commercial vehicles and other business items for transactions between ten thousand dollars and uh, half a million and they also have another subsidiary which is regions equipment financing corporation refco for short and this company offers a financing for transaction ranging from a, a quarter of a million to 50 million dollars you can see on the screen we're showing you ascendium or essential essential i think it's ascendium ascendium capital you can see the home page and you also have refco and regions also have industry solutions so industry financing solutions so they have uh, for example they have agricultural banking they have a restaurant franchise banking and they have mcdonald's franchise financing so this is something you might want to think about if you are in the franchising uh, industry and you're looking for a, let's say if you are a franchise or you own one or more franchises and you're trying to get financing for your business then um regions might be a great candidate to consider in terms because they do have the expertise already they have the staff that really understand the intricacies of uh fun of uh, franchise financing so give them a try step number four folks i'm still explaining to you step by step how to get approved for a business loan from regions banks with ein only and uh, if you have bad or fair credit there is a step by step you need to follow you need to open asset accounts okay let's start with the business check-in let me ask you a question big decision time big decision time do you have a uh, business checking accounts right now or are you still just uh, mingling your personal uh, bank account and you just, you're using your personal checking account to pay for business expenses if you have a business checking account where do you have it do you have it with regions do you have do you have um do you have it with uh, another institutions you need to have business checking accounts with regions if your goal is to get approved for a high loan amount with them okay so we have here business checking accounts so they have simple checking business they have checking advantage business they have checking business interest they have checking business they have checking not for profit okay and in terms of business savings they have a business savings business premium money markets they have business cd so cd stands for a certificate of deposit 
They have business promotional CD. They also have business check cards. So this is a check card business visa. They have retirement services. So this is retirement plan services. They also have wealth management. So what I'm trying to, and they also have online business services. They have priority banking. And one thing you need to understand, the reason why I'm giving you this repertoire of uh, products and services is that I want you to start a relationship with regions. If your goal is ever to have a large EIN only business loan with bad or fair credit with from this bank, you better start now establishing a relationship because bankers are not robots. They are humans too. People just think that, oh yeah, you know, uh, if I have bad credit or fair credit, they'll never approve me because uh, I don't qualify. I'm telling you, this will be true if you go through the online process and you are taken care of by an algorithm. What I want you to do is to be taken care of by a human. You want to have a conversation, a one-on-one -on -one with someone where you can explain your situation, explain your business situation. Okay, so try to forge a relationship with uh, Regents Bank by opening uh, one or two or three asset accounts. I'll be right back, but right after this, don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. We are still having a conversation today about getting a business loan from Regions uh, Bank, EIN only, with bad or fair credit. And uh, step number five, I want you to explore Regions Business Card. And uh, we always say this on all our shows because when we talk about loans, we want to give uh, credit card, business credit cards as a backup plan just in case the uh, borrower doesn't, doesn't get approved and vice versa. So when we speak about regions, business credit cards, there are two credit cards I want you to focus on. So you have the credit card visa business. So this is a card that comes with no annual fee and the, the credit card makes it easy to pay for company supplies, get a cash advance or pay for services. And then you have the credit card visa business enhanced. And this comes with no annual fee and follow and allows your business to earn regions relationship rewards on uh, qualifying purchases. And you can use your card for purchases, cash advances and bill payments. In addition, you have access to Visa Savings Edge, which offers automatic savings of up to 15 percent on eligible purchases with uh, designated merchants. OK, this is really cool. So I want to show you right now that uh, when we speak about uh, the Visa the regions visa business enhanced you have uh, the APR here the APR actually let me first start with the Re regions visa business credit card the simple one you have 0% introductory APR for six months on purchases and after that the APR will be 9.49 to 20.49% this is for the regions visa business credit card for the regions visa business enhanced credit cards those rates, the APR will be between 11.49% and 22.49% based on the business's uh, credit worthiness and other factors determined at the time of account opening. For balance transfers, you can actually uh, have uh, the, the uh, right now there is no um, there is no offer. There is there is a balance transfer fee on both credit cards. So you have 4% fee on each balance transferred with a $10 minimum. In terms of APR for cash advances, it's the same for both cards, so 24.24%, and uh, this varies with the market based on uh, prime rate. So what I'm trying to say here is that you have two business credit cards and you need to determine which one works for you, okay? And which one basically you're comfortable with in terms of fees. And remember that both cards have chip technology, activity verification alerts, online account management, 24 hour customer service, and visa purchase security number six I want you to talk to regions okay you want to have a conversation with regions explain what you're looking for so they can help you and uh, you want to I'm showing you right now the, the business check-in you go to the business check-in website the page rather and discuss with uh, the banker you want to have a clear conversation with the banker you also want to talk about the liquidity situation and the borrowing needs, your borrowing needs. My big question to you is this is a big decision time here. 
big question to you is, is your business doing well? Because although this sounds counterintuitive, it is generally a bad idea to look into financing, especially loans, including business loan from a regions banks with EIN only, if your business is struggling. If your business has a languid, weak, lethargic financial statements, maybe it's time to first fix those to see the cause of the problem before attempting to get extra cash. Because not only will you not qualify for many financing options if you have bad, if you have a, a lethargic financial statements, a, a lethargic set of financial statements, but you also risk getting caught up in a cycle of debt if you can't repay the loan. You also have to think about cyclicality, seasonality. Are some seasons more profitable than others? Are some sectors more profitable than others? What is the most lucrative part of your business? This is the kind of analytical journey, analytical, I would say, uh, marathon you have to go through. Are you, uh, what are you, what do you need the money for? So you want a Regions Bank EIN only business loan. Why do you need the cash? What is the specific purpose of this loan? Are you ready to expand? Are you buying uh, more inventory? Are you buying, uh, are you moving to a larger office space? Can you afford to buy all the equipment you need to run your business? So again, this is uh, the what I call uh, the the um, endogenous, the internal brainstorming session that goes. And you can also uh, make this external. You can have an, an exogenous brainstorming session with your team. But you got to have all these things, all these kind of conversations within the company first before you contact a Regents Bank rep. That way, when you speak with the rep, you already have all the answers that he or she might ask you. Step number seven, you want to finalize and apply. Okay, so when we talk about business uh, and EIN only business loan and regions banks, they make it easier for you to apply at a branch. Depending on where you live, it may not be possible for you to apply online. Okay, we tried that from several uh, states in the nation and we couldn't really we tried five five states and we couldn't apply online so we had to do it manually but my point here is that if you need to contact regions bank you need to get your act together very important when you're ready to apply you want to meet with your banker one last time and uh, there are two sets of uh, documents you need to verify first you want to verify your financial statements and by financial statements i'm talking about the, all the four financial statements your statement of financial position aka balance sheet your statement of income, aka PL or profit and loss statements, your statement of cash flow, aka cash flow statements, and your statement of owner's equity. Okay, those four four statements are very important. So that's the first part, your financial statements. Second part, your business plan. Business plan is really important because it talks about where your company has been, where it is at the moment, and where it is intended intending to go. And, and this will be, uh, this will have valuable information. This will be a vital ingredient that Regions Bank will look at before deciding whether or not to approve your business. So you want to really spend time on that. And uh, big decision time for you. Let me ask you a question. Do you have a business plan? If yes, do you have an updated business plan? Don't lie to me. <laughs> Don't lie to me. We all know how this goes. My point is that if you have a business plan or you don't have a business plan, whatever, it doesn't matter. But if you have one, you need to have a, an updated business plan. You need to update it because, the, because you can't use a business plan, which should be your GPS as a, as a navigational tool that has uh, outdated, obsolete data. No, you got to have an updated business plan. And again, if you have no knack for writing business presentations, please outsource the whole thing. You can outsource it online to uh, freelancer websites. You can actually uh, contact a local consultant. You can have a, you can take care of, you can have a software tool such as Enloop or a live biz plan help you actually. So you have a lot of choices. Okay. And also think about before applying, whether or not there are other things that you might need. For example, your driver's license, any commercial leases, business licenses and permits personal and business tax returns, business insurance plans, payroll records, incorporation documents, 
and the current added financial obligations. Thank you so much, folks, for your attention in today's conversation. I really appreciate it. I was talking to you about how to get approved for a large EIN only business loans with bad or fair credit from uh, regions banks. So number one, I here is a step by step. Number one, get your act together. Number two, get familiar with regions. Number three, you want to uh, check out regions business loans. Number four, you want to open asset accounts. Number five, you want to explore region regions business cards. Number six, you want to talk to regions. And number seven, you want to finalize and apply. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. I'll speak to you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous. <laughs>